How's it going folks? This is Landon and are you searching for surgical tech training? While looking for a training program, a lot of things are going through your head. Things like tuition, course duration, will the program prepare you for the career or not? And what exactly do employers want from surgical techs? You are unsure about so many things and this process of finding the right training program can be exhausting. Well, my friend, your days of confusion are over because in this video, I will talk about the top six things you need to look for in a surgical tech training program. So how about we get started? All right, let's go. Number one, your surgical tech training needs to be affordable. There are a few full-time programs out there that can cost upwards of $25,000. I mean, that is a huge price tag. To afford such a high cost of tuition, you would probably need student loans, which are never fun. I mean, before even starting your career, you're under this mountain of student debt, and trust me, it is heavy. I mean, it's debt that could take years to pay off. I got friends that are still paying it off. Now, this might not seem like a big deal right now, especially if you were fresh out of high school. But trust me, when you're out there and you're working hard as a surgical tech, seeing a chunk of your salary going away each month to pay off your student loans, whoo, that could be a hard pill to swallow. And sometimes this debt could lead to difficult situations. Situations like being stuck in a job that you don't like or not being able to make big life decisions all because you have this mountain of debt looming over your head. I mean, let's be honest, it's not practical. Now, the problem is students think they don't have any other options to get their training other than enrolling in a full-time degree program. Well, my friend, there are affordable options out there and I will talk about those shortly. So stay tuned. Look, ideally your surgical tech training shouldn't cost more than $5,000. Anything above that, that means that you might have to rely on aid or student debt. Number two, a university certificate for your surgical tech training is best for your resume. As a surgical tech, you'll be working closely with doctors, surgeons, and nurses. And trust me, my mom is a doctor and they go to the best schools. In healthcare, they care about where you went to school and the education that you received. That university certificate not only looks good hanging up on your wall, but it also builds trust in you and your skills. A big name university certificate for your surgical tech training is best for your resume. Now, look, I ain't, I'm not a brain reader, but I know what you're thinking. I just said, full-time programs are super expensive. So how can I get a university certificate? Well, guess what? There is a way that you can get in-depth surgical tech training and get a university certificate without the burden of student loans. But that is a lot to cover in a single YouTube video. So I would like to invite you to sign up for a free surgical tech accelerator that we created here. In this free accelerator, Grant Aldridge, the founder of this channel and a well-known education expert, gives you a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to become a surgical tech in the next six months without the burden of student debt or without having to drive to classes. This accelerator gives you a roadmap on how to get a university certificate for your surgical tech training, but without the big expensive price tag. Now, if you've been looking to pull the trigger on a surgical tech training program, then you need to check out this accelerator. You will discover how to start your career faster and be job ready as a surgical tech in the next few months. To sign up for this accelerator, click on the link below, put in your contact details, and you will get instant access to watch this free, and yes, I'm gonna say it again, free accelerator. Number three, your surgical tech training needs to be faster. A full-time associate degree program can take two years to complete. Two years, that is way too long. Plus, for a lot of months, you'll just be studying electives like PE or humanities or subjects that have little to do with surgical tech. The bottom line is two years is a long time to spend in a surgical tech school. It is. Ideally, your training should be completed within four to six months. Faster course durations mean that you can start your dream career faster. Number four, your surgical tech training needs to be from an accredited source. Sometimes students tend to make the mistake of enrolling in a cheaper program without verifying if it's accredited. If your training is from an unaccredited source, that can raise red flags in the eyes of an employer, and we don't want that. As a surgical tech, you are dealing with patients on a daily basis. 
That is serious work. And healthcare companies want to hire surgical techs that can be trusted with patients. When you walk into that job interview and they see that you got your training from a place that they have never heard of, uh, that could raise major red flags. Number five, your surgical tech training needs to prepare you to be certified. To get certified, you have to clear an exam conducted by nationally recognized institutions like the NCCT. And as I said earlier, cheap local programs often lack quality and might not prepare you for the exam. I've also seen folks opt for on the job training, but preparing for the certification exam while working full time, I mean, that could be challenging and you do not want that headache. The takeaway here is before enrolling in a program, ask them if the curriculum is thorough and if the program prepares you to get certified. And finally, number six, your surgical tech training should help you get some hands-on clinical experience. After completing theoretical training, you could feel not completely ready because you don't have that real life hands-on experience in a clinical setting. The best way to get some experience under your belt before you start working is through an externship. In an externship, you work in a healthcare facility for a few days or weeks, shadow other surgical techs, perform a few duties, and interact with patients, like live patients, not just the dummies. Plus, you can cite this experience on your resume and your employer could take note of that. Ideally, you would want to enroll in a training program that helps arrange an externship for you because let's be honest finding that on your own especially when you're just starting out can be a big headache so these are the top six things you need to look for in a surgical tech training program now i know what you're probably thinking how do i find the right surgical tech training program that checks all of these boxes well that is why i will once again ask you to check out our free surgical tech accelerator in the accelerator you get the step-by-step -step blueprint on how to find the right training program and plus you'll also discover a training program that actually checks all of the right boxes i mean everything that I talked about. With this training program, you can be job ready as a surgical tech in the next six months without student loan debt or having to drive to class every day and spend money on gas. I mean, you have to check this out. Click on the link below to sign up for the free surgical tech accelerator by Grant Aldrich. Well, that is all we got for today, folks. I hope today's video was valuable. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, this was Landon signing off. Take care.